Hey what's up guys welcome back in this section we will design a first vr application so in this section my main focus is to show you how to download and import the google vr sdk inside unity how to download and install android studio and import the sdk path of android studio inside unity and third how to build the vr app and run it inside the android smartphone now in this video we will download and import the Google VR SDK. But before downloading the Google VR SDK, I'll first create a new Unity game. So I'll click on File, I'll click on New Project, and since this is a first VR project, I'll give this project a name of VR1, and I'll click on Create Project. Now, once this project is created, I will now download the Google VR SDK. So for downloading the Google VR SDK, you have to go to this website called as developers.google.com slash VR slash Unity. Okay. Now, if you go through this website, you can read some of the features of Google VR. Okay. And if you scroll down, you can see over here, we have this link called download the Google VR SDK for Unity. So I'll click on this link. So as you can see, we have, we have been brought to this downloads and samples page. And if I go down, you can see over here we have the download button so if i click on the download button you can see over here the google vr sdk has started downloading but guys when you click on the download button over here the latest version of google vr will be downloaded inside your system now the google vr sdk version which i'm using is 1.20 and the latest version by the time of this recording is version 1.30 so guys, I'll recommend you to use the version 1.20 as you follow along this course. Okay, so I'll stop this and now let me show you another website from where you can get the previous versions of Google VR SDK. So as you can see, I've opened another tab and to download the previous versions of Google VR SDK, you have to go to the GitHub website and this is the URL which you have to follow. That is github.com slash Google VR slash gvr dash unity dash sdk slash commits slash master i'll add this link in the resource section so you can go through these links directly from the resource section now if you look on this site you can see over here the latest version of gvr unity sdk is 1.30 and exactly below this we have the gvr unity sdk version 1.20 and guys as i've told you before for designing my vr games i have used the version 1.20 okay so I'll recommend you to use this version so that you do not face any problem while building your VR games. So to download the version 1.20, I'll click on this link. Next, I'll click on browse file. And after this, I'll click on this option which says Google VR for Unity dot Unity package because this Unity package consists of the important files that will require so I'll click on the Google VR for Unity, Unity package. And next, I'll click on the download button over here. So guys, as you can see, the Google VR for Unity, Unity package version 1.20 is getting downloaded in my system. And once it is downloaded, I'll copy it on my desktop. So guys, as you can see, the Google VR SDK version 1.20 is downloaded in my system and I've copied it on my desktop and the total size of this file is 71.5 MB. So next I'll import this file inside my Unity game. So to do that, I'll open my Unity game and I'll click on assets. I'll then click on import package. After that, I'll click on custom package. Now, since that file is on my desktop, I'll click on quick access and then I'll click on the desktop option. So now as you can see the Google VR for Unity Unity package is, is showing over here. So I'll select it and then I'll click on open. Now these are all the files that are included inside the Google VR SDK. Okay. That is a Unity package. And these files mainly consist of prefabs, material scripts, which we will be using inside our game. So next I'll click on import again to import the packages inside my game. So I'll now click on, I made a backup, go ahead. Once I imported the package, I'll wait for this progress to complete. 
So guys, as you can see, after importing the package, we have got these two folders called the Google VR and the plugin. And as you can see, the version that we have imported is version 1.20. Okay, so next let's click on the play button and let's see if there is any change or not. So if I click on the play button, you can see over here that there is still no change. So guys, just importing the package will not convert your Unity scene into a VR scene. So to convert a Unity scene into a VR scene, I'll open this Google VR folder. And inside this Google VR folder, I'll open the prefabs folder. And inside the prefabs folder, we have this prefab called as GVR Vivo Main Prefab. If you want to see the name properly, you can just click on the slider and take it all the way to the right side so that you can see the complete name. So I'll drag this GVR Viewer main prefab inside the hierarchy. The GVR viewer main prefab basically converts any normal Unity scene into a VR scene. So now I'll click on the play button. And as you can see, the Unity scene is basically split it into two parts. Previously, when we clicked on the play button, we just had one screen. But after dragging the GVR viewer main prefab, you can see over here, the screen is basically split it into two parts. And it is because of the VR SDK, we have two screens, one for the left eye and one for the right eye. And if I come out of play mode and if I cancel the maximize on play and this time if I again click on the play button, you can see that the camera is also splitted in two parts, the left camera and the right camera. That is, we have got one camera per eye, the left camera for your left eye and the right camera for your right eye. And because we have two cameras inside a game, we will now get the illusion of virtual reality. So guys, that's it from this video and I'll catch you in the next video. I hope you would have liked this video. This was a free video from my virtual reality course, which is available on Udemy. This course is currently priced at $200, but you can get it at a discounted price of just $10 by clicking on the link in the description. So if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos like these. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.